One of the clearest scriptures in the books of the Thessalonians that just demolishes the idea of a pre-tribulation rapture or the idea that the rapture could happen at any moment is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. It really couldn't be any clearer. The Bible says in verse 1, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So the Bible is crystal clear. Don't let anybody tell you that the day of Christ is at hand. That day shall not come, except there fall, come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. That's known as the abomination of desolation, and that does not happen until the midpoint of Daniel's 70th week. So the rapture has to take place after that point. The Bible says, don't let anyone deceive you into thinking that the day of Christ is at hand. That tells me that if someone goes around saying that Jesus Christ can return at any moment and that the day of Christ is at hand, that person is deceiving you. Let no man deceive you by any means. That day shall not come unless there come a falling away first and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. First comes the Antichrist, then comes the rapture.